Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Nigerian and African boxing and of combat sports in general. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. There is a new king on the block, Francis Ongano, becoming the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world that's crazy man that's good that's interesting that's good for africa that's good for cameroon that's good for the combat sports now looking at the ufc as a whole you know they've got like three champions you know three champions who are africans Kamarusman, Israel de soya and of course francis I'm gonna the new king on the block. Bro, looking at what impact do you think this will make in, in terms of combat sports? Do you think this will inspire a lot of our brothers back home to believe in themselves? And do you think this will go to the spot? You see, Omar? Yes, it obviously will. I know that how um, Adesanya and uh, Usman, we're already looking at doing something back home. Uh, how far they've gone about it, I wouldn't know. I think the COVID issue affected their plans for last year as regards developing the sports in Nigeria. Uh, now that um, the airspaces are beginning to be a bit relaxed uh, and travels, even though not so, so smooth yet, are beginning to come back we might have these guys looking at doing something uh but again with Ngannou becoming heavyweight champion i imagine there'll be a fast track to that among these three guys um, i see i see for the fact that these three champions are dominant champions you know you could be a champion but you're not dominant you're just having lucky wins, or uh, even if it's not lucky, it's not so convincing. But these three guys, they win convincingly, and they are, I mean, their style of winning is fashionable. It's like you having a fashion parade for fight wins. It's really going to catch on like wildfire eventually. You know, Two years ago, not too many Nigerians knew about MMA. Yet yeah, they knew about kickboxing, or they knew about judo, or they knew about wrestling. Uh, we, we have one, Falasha uh, Devlekuruwa, who does amazingly well for Nigeria in wrestling. She's, she's amazing. But again, how many Nigerians knew her? Okay. But with MMA, Nigerians just only started catching up with MMA through Israel at this soil, particularly when he defeated um, Paulo Costa. That's when Nigerians began to catch up to MMA. Usman's victory over Bonds further up the ante. As it is now, Nigerians are relating with a lot of Nigerian celebrities too are also identifying with Usman, identifying with Ngannou, identifying with Ade Sawyer, and it's helping to drive the consciousness and the awareness of what MMA is. Okay. For those who are already involved in the sports, the likes of Sadiq. Okay, I see Sadiq wanting to put in a lot more effort to become the champion of featherweight. I think that he would be inspired by the fact that his African brothers have done amazingly well. He would want to also be in that card. And Sadiq has had amazing records so far. I mean, he has had 11 victories, one loss. Okay. And he lost to the then champion Luis Gomez, 
so you cannot <laughs> you, you cannot take anything away from Super Sadiq. Uh, I'm hoping that he gets inspired to do a lot more, be the number one contender, and go to challenge for the belt again. But then there's also Hakim that would, even though Hakim doesn't fight for Nigeria, he fights for Canada, and Hakim is in the same featherweight as Sadiq. Uh, but then again, Hakim is Nigerian. And he too has had an amazing, amazing record. Just one loss, 12 victories. Okay. So that's how I think this is going to impact on Nigerian kids and Africans at large. Um, a lot of persons would want to become an Usman, they want to be an Adesoya, they want to be an Ghana. And they will be taken to the sports and be taking it very seriously. Also, now that they know that it is not. For those who are into combat sports, you don't necessarily have to just limit yourself to um, boxing. Okay, you can take up martial arts also, uh, mixed martial arts, and you can also excel at it. So I, I think it's really going to be a great deal of inspiration what Nganu has done tonight alongside what um, Usman and Adesha have, have done in the past. Uh, looking at this, uh, this tweet by Africa Fatzon, which I follow and I like, uh, it says they posted something very interesting right here. They say Africa has more male UFC champions than any other continent, bro. That is a, that's a history of his own, bro. And a history that has never been like, like something has not been done before. Now, um, do you think Usma, uh, uh, Adesoya, and Ngannou, because you know, I, Ngannou was, I saw Ngannou at some point wanting to help, uh, help uh, a young Nigerian boy like that, you know, I don't know if he's, he wanted yeah. to sign, sign the guy, did he sign him? I don't know if he signed him still. I didn't like follow that. that story, but I remember I saw that. Yeah, like, now. Do you think if three of them, three of those lions, you know, if they join us together, they can really significantly up uplift uh, the sport of MMA in Nigeria and Cameroon and some other parts of, of Africa? I believe they can. I believe they have what it takes to get it done. Okay. Um, they have the years of, of the corporate world as it stands right now for sponsorship. Okay whether the corporates are operating from Africa or from outside of Africa, they have what it takes. Um, they are the biggest names out there. I think right now, if you want to count first 10 MMA fighters, those three names will prominently feature. we we'll scrap that. If you want to count first five prominent MMA fighters today, those three names will feature prominently. Um, other than John Jones, Okay, who, who, which is a big name, no doubt. Um, who else are you going to mention before before Osman, Adesoya, and Ngannou? Really? So these are the biggest names that MMA, that MMA and UFC has got right now. Not forgetting that UFC is the biggest MMA organization. Okay, so yes, they have what it takes to galvanize comprehensive, detailed, and focused developmental programs for young African aspiring fighters. I believe that they do have it. Well, uh, new, recent news coming in. Uh, John, John Jones is saying that, you know, Conor McGregor wants big money. Uh, he's expected. John Jones wants money now. He's scared. You know, like, what does it mean by this tweet? By the way, there's just a quick... Uh... Yeah, people are saying that, um, of course, Jones would not fight if the money is not right. That's the truth. Has he earned it? Does he deserve it? Yes, he deserves it. Jones has given his all to the sport. Jones has also made the sport to be appreciated and followed like Conor McGregor did. So if Jones is asking for certain amount of money, um, it should be negotiated with, really. 
so if people are saying that's about Jones, that he's scared because he's asking for big money, I would say uh, maybe they don't understand how negotiation goes among fighters. Okay. Jones does deserve, he does deserve to get the pay. He does. Yeah, man. We'll see, though. You know, UFC don't really pay that much, though. You know, like, if he was a box, if he was boxing, if, if he was boxing, for example, this fight would, would generate maybe 200 million uh, pounds. You know, it would be, you know, but UFC is a different, is a different, is a different case. So I don't know. Yeah, man. MMA is yet. I mean, Big. we're just talking about the fact that not too many Nigerians know MMA, but a lot of Nigerians know boxing. Okay, Nigerians have even been following boxing before I was born. But they're just beginning to follow MMA recently, and it's the same thing across the globe. When you have Blau Beach, uh, when Blau Beach won the lighter weights against Reyes and returned to Poland, there were just a handful of persons at the airport to receive him. A lot of Polish people were passing by him at the airport. They didn't know who he was. <laughs> they didn't know who he was. But I'm sure. That if he was a boxer, the entire Poland would have stood still for him. You know, so it's, it's a sport that is still catching on. It's, it's still gaining momentum. Yes, man. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, a lot of you should subscribe. You know, Africans have taken over the UFC, and it's going to be very hard to beat them. Especially looking at Ongano improving as a fighter, like crazy that that like that that take down you know the that defense you know that anti take down uh, the defense my opinion was 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 amazing to see because i never like in that fight with uh the first fight is the first tp tp music fight i didn't see it it was so vulnerable it was not at all yeah he didn't have it against the pain yeah. first no man so i mean con like Big ups to Kamarosma, big ups to his team, big ups to his coach. Now Kamarosma has to be like <laughs> Kamarosma has to like kind of improve it more, in my opinion. Because he he he, he, he tends to be a, a fast learner, bro. And that's amazing, guys. So stay blessed, Jungus Jumbo. Keep liking, keep subscribing, and keep sharing. God bless you all. Cheers.